and traveled 240 miles by car. Okay, I know that doesn't sound so amazing, but what if I told you he didn't ride inside the car? This little kitten's name is Lucky, and that's a real appropriate name for this little guy. You see, he took a long trip from Newcastle, Pennsylvania to Columbus riding under the car. I got the cat as an early birthday present for my grandmother. Well, we thought he was a really beautiful cat, and not too many cats look like he does. Blue eyes, looks like he's Siamese. Well, he's very wild, and the kids were out there running like you were catching a chicken, but instead they were catching a wild little cat. And I said, we don't need no more cats, we have two. And they caught him anyways, and uh, they brought him in and showed him to me, and I said, we have to, we can take him home. He's just beautiful. And we kept him, put him in the car, and we put him in a cage, and, uh, I went out to check on about an hour, he was gone. The cat was gone. My sister bawled her eyes out practically. So I was really upset and devastated about that. So, you know, on we go. We take off for Ohio, which is Gahanna. And uh, we go on, we're about an hour away by Newton Falls, Ohio. My sister says she hears crying. And, and uh, me and my mom's like, she's gone stupid or something, I don't know. I have little soft meows, all of a sudden I hear this little meow is crying and I said mom there's something there and she's like no you're s they looked at each other and said Sarah you're crazy Sarah said mom I hear a cat I said you do not well we get to Wendy's at Mansfield to take a break and I uh, get out and I hear the cat we heard the cat my, me and my mom's like oh my gosh my sister's not going stupid I told him shut the door shut the windows don't let the cat out we've got him I let my sister sit up front and I really tore the van apart looking for the cat over here. It's the egg tower. There was oh. luggage and blankets and things because we stayed for like a weekend. We were looking through there and my brother, he heard it, but he just couldn't find it. So he's like, it's not in the car. There's no way it could be in the car. And we can't find it. They can't find it. And I said, let it go. When we get home, we will look through the luggage and we will find it then. You know, on we go. And go see. That's where we found it. I looked. Under there, I couldn't find, but I thought I saw something move under there. So I came around to this side. Got under here, and he's, sure enough, he's there, there, perched on the muffler. He just held on, and I can't believe he held on that long. I couldn't believe it. It was like a miracle. Four and a half hours, 240 miles, and the same cat that was in Pennsylvania was under my car. He's used seven out of his nine lives coming here. We're really lucky to have him, I think, and to find him. And he's really lucky to be with us. They sure are lucky. Sarah and Howard hope Lucky decides to stay close to home from now on.